In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use low or non-dividend paying stocks to generate consistent cash flow every month while also lining you up to benefit if the stock appreciates in value. I'm then going to share with you a real life position which I'm using this exact strategy in right now. Before we get to my exact position using the technique I'm going to share with you, let me share the details on how you can use this strategy using three different stocks, Apple, Microsoft, and Tesla. Here you see the details of Apple when I did the research for this video. Apple is trading at $190 per share. Now Apple pays its dividend quarterly. So if you annualize that dividend, it came out to right at 96 cents per share or just under a dollar per year for Apple's dividend. In order to turn your Apple stock into a 30% dividend paying machine, that means you'd have to collect $57 per year because you own that Apple stock. Now that dollar per year is a long way from $57 per year. It's a long way from getting a 30% annualized dividend on the stock that you own. So how can we turn Apple into a 30% annualized dividend paying machine? Well, we can use options. And here's how we're going to do that. Now this is done in two steps. The first step is to buy a long-term option known as a LEAPS call option. Here you see the details of an example LEAPS call option that you could use to turn Apple into a 30% dividend paying stock. We buy the January of 2026 $150 LEAPS call option. Now LEAPS just stands for a long-term option. That's all you're doing is you're buying an option whose expiration is farther than a year from now. In fact, the option I'm using here in our example expires in 787 days or just a little over two years from right now. That option is currently trading for $61.50 per share. So that's your cost basis. Now remember, since you don't own actual shares of the stock, but you own an option, you do not get any benefit from dividends that are paid out. So you wouldn't get that 96 cents per share. But honestly, that's not going to matter when I show you how we're going to turn this into a 30% dividend paying stock in just a moment. In order to turn our Apple position into a 30% dividend paying machine, we'll have to be able to collect $18.45 per share against the leaps call options that we own. Now, something I want to mention to you briefly, because I'll discuss it a little more in detail later, is that the delta of this position is 0.85. That means for the next dollar that Apple goes up or down, the value of this leaps call option should go up or down by 85 cents per share. And that's if everything else stays the same with the stock. If you're newer to options, don't worry about that too much. I'll talk about it a little bit more later on. So we have our stock replacement. We bought a leaps call option that expires in a little over two years at the 150 strike price. Now let's turn this into a 30% annualized dividend paying machine. To do that, we're going to sell a nearer term option against it. We're going to sell the option that expires in January of 2024, which is right at 59 days from now. Remember, Apple's currently trading at 190 per share. To put us in a position so we can benefit if Apple stock were to go up in price, we're going to sell the 195 strike price call option against the long-term option that we own. That means that Apple can go up $5 per share for we're trading at right now, and we receive the full benefit of that movement at that 85 cents per share, which is the delta of the call option we own. Now this $195 strike price call option that expires in 59 days is currently selling for $3.70 per share. So theoretically, we're gonna say we can do this same type of trade every 59 days. If we're able to do that, it will mean that we will collect $22.89 per share by selling short near-term call options against the long-term call option that we own. If we did that, we realized a 37% annualized return on that call option that we bought. But let's say we want to give ourselves more room in case Apple were to go way up in price. Well, instead of selling that $195 strike price call option that expires in 59 days, we could sell the $200 strike price call option that expires in 59 days. Now, right now we're at the end of November in 2023. So the call option we're looking to sell expires in January of 2024 or 59 days from today. That call option is currently trading for $1.88 per share. So we're gonna say that theoretically, we should be able to collect about $1.88 per share every 59 days. If we're able to do that, we'd pocket $11.63 per year. And that would produce an annualized return of 19%. And that's based on the leaps call option that we bought, which cost us $61.50 per share. But remember, we got that sweet kicker. With Apple currently trading at $190 per share, this short call option we're talking about selling and collecting a 20% annualized dividend on is $10 out of the money. So Apple can go up by $10 per share before this short call option is challenged. And if that happens, we have some techniques we can use to adjust this short near-term call option. So we can continue to receive benefit if Apple were to keep going up in price. So that's our Apple scenario. We buy a long-term call option and sell near-term call options against it. And depending on what strike price you pick, as you see here, even if you give yourself some room to benefit from stock appreciation, 
you can still realize a 19 to 37% annualized return on your Apple Leaps call option. Before I share with you three very important tips you wanna make sure you understand before doing a trade like this, let me show you two more examples of popular stocks. Let's first talk about Microsoft and then we'll do Tesla. Microsoft is a position that I'm in right now I'm going to share with you at the very end of this video. But let's talk through a scenario that you might get potentially consider entering right now if you want to do a similar type of trade. As you see here, Microsoft's trading for right around $373 per share when I'm filming this video. Its dividend is also paid quarterly. So if you multiply the quarterly dividend times four, then you'd be receiving right at $3 per share. In order to realize a 30% dividend on your cost per share, you would need to collect $111.90 per year against the $373 shares that you own. That's a long way off from the $3 per share that you're receiving. So how can we turn Microsoft into a 30% annualized dividend paying stock we're going to do the same thing we did with apple we're going to buy a long-term call option known as a leaps call option we're going to go with the same expiration date as we did before an option that expires in about two years we're going to buy the 350 dollars call option and that call option will cost us right at 84 dollars 38 per share remember since you don't own the stock you won't collect the actual dividend because you're going to generate your own dividend by selling near term call options in order to realize a 30 percent annualized return on the leaps call options that you paid for which costs you just over $84 per share, you would need to collect just over $25 per year by selling nearer term call options. And the delta of this call option you're buying, which is a 350 call option that expires in about two years, is 0.72. That means the next dollar that Microsoft goes up or down, the value of this option should also go up or down by about 72 cents per share if everything else stays the same. Now let's turn this into a big dividend cash flow paying machine. To do that, we're again going to look to sell a call option that expires in just under two months or 59 days away by selling the $395 strike price call option. Remember, Microsoft is trading for $373 right now, so it can actually go up in price by $22 per share before this near short-term call option is challenged. That call option is currently selling for right at $4.75 per share. If we're able to do a similar type of trade, Every 59 days for the next year, then we'd pocket just over $29 per share. That would mean that we would realize a 35% annualized return similar to a dividend by selling these near-term call options against the long-term call option that we own. But let's say we wanted to give ourselves more room to benefit from stock price appreciation. Well, instead of selling the $395 near short-term call option, we could sell the $400 call option. That would mean that Microsoft could go up $27 per share. We receive a lot of that benefit before the short near-term call option is challenged. So we sell the same expiration date, January of 24 call option, which is about 59 days away, and we get about $3.65 per share for this call option. If we do that every 59 days, we collect just over $22 per share for the year by selling this near-term call option. That equates to a 27% annualized return based on the cost of the call option that we bought. Now let's look at one more of your favorite stocks, Tesla. And Tesla actually has more volatility, so you're going to see the returns can actually be even bigger. So currently Tesla's trading for right around $240 per share. Its dividend is a big goose egg because it doesn't pay a dividend. So let's turn this non-dividend paying stock into a big time cash flow machine. To do that, we're going to buy that same expiration day. The call option expires in about two years, and we're going to buy the $200 strike price call option. That's currently selling for around $98 per share. Again, we don't receive the dividend because number one, Tesla doesn't pay a dividend, but since we own a call option, even if Tesla did pay a dividend, we wouldn't get that dividend, so we're about to create our own big dividend. In order to realize a 30% annualized dividend replacement on our Leaps call option, we need to collect $29.40 per year. And the delta of this Tesla option is 78 cents per share. Now let's turn our cash flow machine on this Leaps call option in Tesla. We'll sell that same expiration day, the January of 24 near-term call option. That option expires in 59 days. We'll sell the 280 strike price call option. That means that Tesla can go up by $40 per share before this short near-term call option is challenged. That option is currently selling for $5.65 per share. If we're able to do a similar trade like this about every 59 days, then we'll be able to pocket $34.95 per share for selling these near short-term call options against the long-term call option that we own. That would equate to a 36% annualized return. And remember, Tesla can go up by $40 before our short near-term call option is challenged. But let's say we wanted even more room for Tesla to go up before our short near-term call option is challenged. Well, we can sell the 290 short near-term call option that expires in 59 days, and that option is currently selling for $4.10 per share. If we annualize that, we'll be collecting just over $25 per year, and that would equate to a 26% annualized return. And in this case, Tesla could go up by $50 the next 59 days, and we get a lot of the benefit of that stock price appreciation 
before our short near-term call options are challenged. So that's how you can turn low or non-dividend paying stocks into cash flow machines. Before I show you my real life position in Microsoft using this exact same strategy, I wanna give you three areas of caution I wanna make sure that you're aware of. I mentioned Delta several times in this video. Delta is simply the amount that you expect the value of the option you bought or sold to go up or down by in value for the next dollar per share that the underlying stock goes up or down by. Let's take, for example, Tesla. If, say, for example, Tesla were to go way up in price and were to go way past 290 per share, we wanna keep an eye on the deltas of the leaps call option that you own and the short near-term call option that you sold. Because if the short near-term call option that you sold were to go way in the money, for example, if Tesla were to go way past 290 per share, then the delta of that option might go way up above the delta of the call option that you own. Remember, we expect our call option to go up by 78 cents per share for each dollar that Tesla goes up based on the next dollar. We just wanna make sure that the value of the option you sold is not going up faster per next dollar increase in the stock price than the call option that you own. So basically, watch your deltas. Another factor to keep in mind is that you wanna watch your time decay, which in the Greeks is called theta. Now, since you're buying a leaps or a long-term call option, your theta should be lower than the theta of the near-term call option that you're selling. But again, if that call option were to go way in the money, or if it were to be way out of the money, then you wanna double check your theta to make sure your time decay on the call option you're selling is higher than the time decay on the call option that you own. If done properly, then the short near-term call option will have a time decay that's a lot higher than the leaps call option that you own. And finally, let's talk about what happens if the position doesn't go your way. Let's say Tesla declines a lot from where it's at now. Remember in this example, we bought the $200 strike price call option. That option gives you the right to buy Tesla anytime between now and expiration, which is a little over two years from now at $200 per share. So what happens if Tesla goes below $200 per share? Let's say in two years, it's only trading at $100 per share. Well, the value of this $200 call option will actually be zero. So just like with a covered call, if you were selling call options against some stock that you own, if the underlying stock were to go down in price, then your position would actually lose value most likely. Well, the same way is true with this position. This is known as a poor man's covered call. Except that when you're doing a covered call, the stock would actually have to go to zero to lose all the money you had invested with it. With a leaps call option, if you held it to expiration and didn't do anything with it, which I absolutely do not suggest, but if you did that and the stock was trading under $200 per share, the value of this option would actually be zero. Now I have a whole video series dedicated to poor man's covered calls and leaps call options. I'll leave a link to that above me and also in the description below if you'd like to check it out once this video is done. Now let me share with you a position I'm in right now where I'm using this exact strategy. I'm turning a leaps call option into a cash flow machine. And I actually have been doing it with one of the stocks I mentioned in this video, which is Microsoft. Here you see we started this position a little over a year and a half ago. We bought a leaps call option and sold a nearer term call option that was out of the money against the call option that we bought. We've done quite a few trades against this position. Let me scroll down here to the bottom so I can show you where we're at with this overall position. The yellow shaded areas are the options that we're in right now. We own the January of 2025 $280 leaps call option, which expires in just over a year. I went ahead and fill in the values of where the options are trading at that I'm in right now. That leaps call option that I own is trading for $119.91 per share. Whereas you see here, we only paid $74.20 per share for this leaps call option. The near term call option that I sold against it expires in 59 days and actually is the $300 strike price. Now the reason why it's in the money is that Microsoft has gone way up over the past several months. When I sold that option, I got $37.42 per share for it. Because Microsoft has gone up so much, it's now worth $77.95 per share. So as you can see here, we actually are showing a loss on this short near-term call option that we've sold. However, it's more than offset by the gain on the long-term leaps call option that we own. And that doesn't even reflect the net inflow of cash we receive when we sold the November options. Now, one extra thing I've been doing against this position to help fund rolling my short near-term call option up as I roll it out is I've been selling an additional cash secure put option. Here you see that in addition to the poor man's covered call I'm in with Microsoft right now, I also sold the January of 24, which is the put option that expires in 59 days from right now. When we sold that put option, we got $6.89 per share, and it's currently only trading for 45 cents per share. So if you calculate the net profit, we'd realize right now, if we liquidate this position, based on all the trades we've done, using our poor man's cover call, and also selling some cash care put options against it, as you see here at the bottom right, we realize a profit of $46.32 per share. If you'd like to get an alert as soon as we do trades, similar to the Microsoft trades I'm sharing with you here on this video, consider the benefits of becoming a patron down at the link in the description below. If you'd like to see how poor man's covered calls differ from covered calls, check out the video at the link above and the description below entitled Poor Man's Covered Calls versus Covered Calls, which is better. Until next time, happy investing and we'll see you again soon.